Welcome to this targeted oncology presentation in precision medicine called Frontline CD30 ADC for Advanced Classic Hodgkin's Lymphoma. I'm Dr. Sid Ganguly. I'm the director of the Lymphoma and Myeloma Program at the University of Kansas Medical Center, Kansas City, Kansas. Joining me today is my colleague, Dr. Ahmed Galal, cell therapy and hematologic malignancy specialist at the Duke Cancer Center, Durham, North Carolina. Targeted therapies have really come to the forefront of treatment of cancer. Today we are going to talk about an important therapeutic approach that has shown great promise in treating advanced Hodgkin's lymphoma called brentuximab vidotin. It has recently received approval in combination with chemotherapy as frontline treatment of advanced classic Hodgkin's lymphoma. This agent represents a paradigm changing advance in precision oncology and drug development for patients with classic Hodgkin's lymphoma. Dr. Galal, let's get started. So we get this question asked, what is really Hodgkin's lymphoma consists of and what's the difference between classic and lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma? Actually, both of them arise from post germinal center B cells, but there are inherent differences between classic and the LPHL, which is the lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, the cells that diagnose a patient with Hodgkin's lymphoma are called reed sternberg cell, Hodgkin's reed sternberg cell or HRS cells. And they are identified by a large multinucleated cells, sometimes with very prominent nucleoli, and sometimes it looks like a set of owl eyes looking at you. And um, they are stained positively with CD30 and CD15. Whereas in the LPHD, the cells are CD20 positive and often CD30 and CD15 negative. And those cells, they do for ev differ even morphologically from classic Hodgkin's lymphoma. And pathologists have often called them as cells looking like popcorn, so they call it popcorn cells. Not only they are morphologically different, they are also different in the treatment characteristics and long-term outcome. Um, lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin's lymphomas actually have a little better prognosis than classic Hodgkin's lymphoma, and their treatment differs from uh, classic Hodgkin's lymphoma as well. So, Dr. Galal, could you um, tell us what role does chemotherapy have in treating classic Hodgkin's lymphoma? So the role of chemotherapy in classic, uh, classical Hodgkin's lymphoma has been established so many years uh, before, almost 40 years, with EBVD being the backbone for the chemotherapy and the frontline therapy. Um, in the um, sort of uh, low grade, uh, the grade one or stage one, stage two, um, Hodgkin's lymphoma uh, is probably the only chemotherapy that we would use up front. Uh, now in the stage three and four, it's uh, more of a change uh, because of the um, uh, brintaximab uh, vidotin uh, addition uh, and a replacement for the bleomycin with the EBVD. So we're still using the same chemotherapy without the bleomycin with the addition of the brintaximab uh, that actually added uh, advantage for the higher grade or higher stage patients. The unmet needs for uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, we see this actually in the uh, higher stage and the bulky disease um, more. So these patients tend to relapse uh, at a higher rate than the patients with uh, uh, favorable uh, uh, early disease. So when we look at the uh, stage three or four, the relapse rate after five years uh, is about 23%, uh, 25%. Uh, so these patients, when they relapse, they get further chemotherapy and they probably go for transplant if they are fit there. But patients that are not fit for tr transplant still uh, uh, needing further treatment. So um, there are really area of unmet need there that probably filled partially by the uh, brentaximab vidotin. 